Lander was a movie that I watched a long, long time ago. And I haven't seen it since. Um, I more recently saw Highlander 4. I believe it was Highlander 4. The one where um, Connor and his cousin team up. Um, and then the Highlander television series. Of course, I can't even remember the name of that character who played the Highlander in the television series. But Highlander the movie, where it all began... Well, it was on Peacock, and I was trying to find out if there was anything worthwhile watching on Peacock while I bide my time for the Yu Yu Haka show, show to come out. Um, and there it was, Highlander. And I'm like, great. I The last Highlander thing I watched was Highlander 5, The Source, and that was terrible. So let's go back to the beginning. And... You know, they do try to set things up a little bit. You get bits and pieces of the story, but a lot of things are left as mysteries. And, you know, this was originally meant to be a one-off and not a continual series. And then they changed what the prize was um, later on, uh, especially because Connor got, or Colin, you know, Colin was from the animated movie. Uh, Connor McLeod gets the 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 victory in the end and basically becomes one with everything um spoilers for a movie that is probably older than i am um so one of the things i appreciated was that the fight scenes were pretty good they were kind of realistic sword combat you know um and that there was a variety of different swords um, by the time the movie happens, there was only, what, four Highlanders left? And they all gathered in a big city. And it was kind of funny hearing Syracuse, New York get dropped because uh, that's somewhere I went to quite often. Um, so it kind of just makes me laugh a little. Syracuse, New York gets a big name drop in the movie because that's the where the uh, person that connor stole the identity from uh was born um so the whole idea behind the highlander film is that there are a bunch of immortals fighting each other for a prize and the highlander himself uh the reason it's called that is because he comes from the highlands of scotland um and he is an immortal he finds this out after he gets killed and comes back to life because uh, Highlander, well, not Highlander, but the Immortals all can't die unless their head is cut off by another Immortal. Um, it's not specified whether a non-Immortal could do this too, but that a uh, Immortal has to cut off the head. And unlike in the television series, it isn't like a burst of electricity, it's just... There's like an energy that builds up and then that's it. Um, the main villain of the film is the Kurgan because he comes from the Kurgan area of Russia and that's all it is. And Clancy Brown is a giant man. I never realized he was that tall um, unless, you know, Connor is really short, um, which is possible. But he played a great villain over the top, but deadly serious because he's immortal so he doesn't care if he gets hurt because unless you cut his head off he can't be stopped um and then you have the flashbacks to the past and you get the time in scotland where sean connery who played a egyptian who happened to also be spanish but is actually scottish and all that which you know that yeah ramirez is a little bit of a goofy idea but the thing is if he's immortal apparently lived for like a thousand plus years and doesn't really have just some ordinary start but where the immortals come from you know like why are some of them born much later like connor is born in the 1500s Yet, uh, Ramirez has been around for, like, at least 2,000 plus years. Um, 
I don't know why they weren't all just there at the very beginning. Um, and I know that the second movie tried to retcon things and say they were all aliens. And then every single subsequent piece of Highlander material afterwards ignored that. Overall, it's a fun movie. Um, good fight scenes, good music. I mean, Queen did all the soundtrack, which is great. Um, but, you know... It's an older movie, and you're going to be left with a couple questions that don't get answered. But if you like the stuff, I would also say the television show is probably really good. But it definitely, like, everything retcon stuff from this first film. And that's just because it was never meant to be continued. It was meant to be a one and done. But it was popular enough that it warranted multiple sequels in a television series that had multiple seasons. But anyways, have a good one.